Morning everybody. Just thought I'd do a quick bit on the plasma cutter before I go to work. Um, now this is a plasma TIG welder, um, which I use for doing a bit of artwork. Uh, the bits on my bike. Um, now I bought just a, I bought the Cut 50 plasma cutter, which I think was about 150 quid bought that a couple of years back for doing my fire pits but I had a good machine uh, I know it I looked on the research it said it had problem, issues with uh, one of the fuses blowing on the circuit board and after doing a lot of cutting um, it did blow but I was in, I was in the middle of doing a job for someone <coughs> so I had to renew the machine and for an extra 50 quid you get this plasma cutter with uh, arc welder and TIG welder comes with a gas torch uh, selection of tips now this runs off 240 you've got to have a compressor for the plasma cutter and we just cover the plasma cutter today um, now I'd never done this before I had done it once before a place I worked at uh, if you look at the tip there um, I haven't thought this out very well, have I? Right. It comes with a shroud. This is like my normal videos, where I do the video without even thinking about what I'm doing. The shroud encases the air, which cools the tip and cuts. So if you look at the holes around the outside, that's cooling the tip. Need to renew that. That looks good. right. You get a double ended tip so you can turn it over when it wears out. That's what does your cutting. Now, I found that if you're cutting and your lines are a bit wiggly, it's because if you can see in there, if you get any sort of blowback or anything or heat on the tip, it makes that hole. Now, that is. You can see how that tip is a bit wonky. It might burn out of one side and it burns the tip and then you get a crooked cut. So if you're doing anything really intricate, you need to change your tip out. Now for a couple of quid, when you buy these machines, they come with about 10 tips. But on eBay, you can buy, before you, you can buy a pack of 50 tips comes with the cutting tip, the air tip, some shrouds and a handful of ceramics. Um, buy those in as soon as you get the machine because you, when you're starting if the compressor runs out I had trouble with the compressor not restarting so I ran out of air burnt the tip up and I lent the machine to the boy over the road he didn't realise the valve was shut on his compressor, so he burnt the tip up straight away. So you need to get a selection of those. Right, now this is a contact machine. You get a lot of machines which... Um, they have a, like a, a little guide on here, so you can't go too close, and it jumps, the circuit jumps across. But these cheap machines are contact, so you make the contact, you start to stay in contact all the time. So like with this, uh, you can see I've had to chip the paint everywhere so I can make contact. Once you're once you're off, it's burning the paint off. And it's a piece of piss. So what I do is I draw my pattern on first. When I'm doing my gas bottles, if you're doing a dark colour, I draw my pattern on with chalk. Then you can change it to whatever you want. And as soon as you've got what you want, I go around my pattern with a felt tip. Because as I found you've got your hand on the job, you're rubbing all the bloody chalk off, you spend an hour doing drawing, then you look back, it's all gone. So, uh, draw your pattern on. These are a bit hard to get your head around, you've got to leave on, you've got to draw in there first what you want to leave, you've got to make sure you leave enough support, so everything's connected, otherwise it all falls apart. This is my first lace barrel. I'm going to make this into two garden tables. So I'll do the pattern on the sides, I'll draw a pattern on the top, 
and I'll do the same on the other end, then I'll cut it in half. Now you've got to make sure you know what's inside these. This was full of oil, so a big dose of fairy liquid and some boiling hot water sloshed it all out. It didn't have a lot in it. Cleaned it all out, tipped that into a receptacle to take to the tip to dispose of properly. Um, if they haven't got a lot in, you know it hasn't got any residue and it's been standing outside for a long time. Um, as long as you, you're really careful, if you can, a sniff test is the best thing to make sure it's not a flammable source. Um, and then you just connect your earth on, compressors on, turn on. Um, now these aren't sunglasses, these are gas cutting glasses. Again, I think they were about eight quid on eBay. Um, you can wear goggles, you can wear your art masks. You have to turn it down so you can see what you're doing. Um, I wear ear defenders because I suffer with tinnitus and um, the, com the, the sound of the air um, really buggers my ears up. But I'll try and hold the phone and do a cut, I'll show you how easy it is. Watch me cut it off now. So you're going to go on the bit that you, you chipped. That is because that contact tip inside is buggered. So we'll change those tips up. You can see that end. Generally, I change the tips when I start every new job. But I haven't bothered on here because there's so much paint. And I noticed uh, another problem you need to check. If you haven't run the compressor for a bit, you look in there's a bottom on the back there, it catches all the oil. Sometimes you can get a lot of water in your hose which all the water runs through the machine. Yeah, um, I'll end this video, it's getting a bit long, and um, I'll try and get the camera set up so you can see me doing some cutting. Okay.